Hello world, this is What's Up 290 and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to fix an error in Windows 10 where certain startup, where certain programs that you have labeled to start up upon booting into Windows do not start. Now what's actually most likely causing this issue was uh, what, what was causing the issue for me. I was, for example, uh, for how I ran into this, I've been, re I've been using pure VPN for a VPN server a lot lately, and I've been trying to get it so that it automatically starts up on when, so that it automatically goes and starts up on a on my computer and just connects to my VPN automatically. But um, for, but uh, for some but for some reason that I couldn't initially figure out, it wasn't do it wouldn't do that. As you can see here, I had it to launch on system startup and auto connect after launch. And it just wouldn't do it for some reason. Even though I had it um, labeled, checked here to start up on launch, and, uh, and it, it, when it was appearing in my Windows startup, tr startup program tray and everything, which means it should have been starting. Well, it turns out that why it wasn't starting is because Windows 10 actually has a new uh, security mechanism, mechanism in it that uh, Windows versions of Windows before Windows 10 did not have, and that is that Windows 10 w do, will not let you run um, run applications that need ad that need administrative privileges on startup. You heard me correctly. Windows 10, it's a new security thing. It's a, it's a it's a new security thing in Windows 10. But it Windows 10 will if a program is on your startup list to start up automatically when you boot into Windows. And that program requires administrative privileges. Windows 10 will refuse to start the program automatically. And that's what it turned out was going on with me. So I'm going to show you how to fix that, how to fix that problem. First off, obviously don't definitely don't do this if you don't tr really trust the program that you're um, that you're doing this for, because if it's not a trustworthy program you're doing this for, um, you know, that can obviously open a can of worms because it's a security thing that's put there to prevent Windows from getting hijacked by your, prevent your computer or Windows operating system from uh, getting hijacked by uh, faulty, non-trustworthy scripts, if you know what I mean. So what I did was I installed the Notepad++. Not Notepad, the, not Notepad is in the one that's built into Windows, Notepad++. This is a different program and you can download it from the link in the description. Then what you're going to want to do, your script is going to look for the most part just like this one, but set W shell just you, you can just copy and paste it. I'll have it in the description, just copy and paste it into your Notepad++. But for me where it says C program files x86 pure VPN pure VPN.exe, what you're going to want to do is type in the path of the executable file for your program. So if I wanted to run it on, so if I wanted to automatically start, say, um, Google Chrome with administrator privileges on startup, what I would do was I would find the Chrome executable file and then just uh, properties. And then I can see here, what I would do is just copy and paste this. Then type slash application name exe. And then what we're about to do that would cause Google Chrome to start with administrator privileges on, on Windows 10 startup. So what you're gonna so what you're gonna want to do is just here type the name of put the exact name of the executable file for the program that you want to start with administrator privileges on starting Windows 10. So once you've done all that, what you want to do is go file save as, then click this PC, OS C, then go to users, select your username, and then type a, go to app data roaming. Microsoft Windows 
start menu. Programs startup. Then what you want to do is save. What you want to do is make sh is it doesn't really matter what the name of the file is. Just name it something you can identify it later. You don't need to identify it later, but just not, it's nice to have the script identified as something you know what it is when you look at the name. What you're going to want to do is save as type by default. Yours will say txt. Don't save it as a txt file. What you want to do is save as type. Visual Basic File, v, v, Visual Basic File, VB, VBS, this one here. Then what you want, then by default, they'll say VB on the end, like this. What you want to do is change it, the end, the .VB to .V, file extension to .VBS, and that's a very important step to do, otherwise this will not work. .VBS, not .VB, the S at the end is very important. So what you want to do is just save it, and there you go. And now that unfortunately I can't really show it to you, but that program, will, whatever program you just did that for, will now start as administrator when you boot into Windows 10. It you'll still have it'll it'll pop up with the window that'll ask you, do you want to, that'll it'll pop up with the administrator re, uh, request window. That'll say like, do you want to give do you want this program as admin? You just click yes, and you do have to click yes on that basically every time, which you know it only takes like a second to do. So it's not that big of a deal. Um, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe. This is what's up two one nine zero, and I'm signing off. Have a have a nice day.